Welcome to Global Flyer and the simulated flight from the cockpit series. I'm very excited to bring you along today with us on our X-Plane simulated flight from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates to Bangkok in beautiful Thailand. We'll be flying the Executive VistaJet Bombardier 650 Challenger add-on by Hot Start. Enjoy the ride! It's just after 5 in the morning here in Dubai International Airport. We're about to prep our uh, beautiful VistaJet Hot Start Bombardier Challenger 650 aircraft for our executive charter flight to Bangkok, Suwarnapum in Thailand. We have around 7 VIP passengers with us today, in addition to myself, Captain Hossam Ali, our first officer, Alexandra Schmidt, and our lovely executive cabin hostess, Lena Gomez, will be taking care of our passengers, their safety, comfort, and meals. We should be in the air in about an hour's time, taking off at 6 a.m. local time. Our flight time to Bangkok will be around 5 hours and 30 minutes. We expect to be on the ground in Bangkok in the early afternoon at around 2.20 p.m. Please sit back, relax. You'll be with us in the cockpit during various stages of the flight to experience the ride. See you in a few minutes. Okay, everyone. So uh, we just met with our flight dispatcher here, June Manning. Uh, so we just reviewed our flight uh, this morning uh, out of Dubai International. And we've completed our uh, flight plan uh, preparations using SimBrief. I'm just going to show you here quickly the uh, flight specifics here. So as you can see, uh, we're scheduled to depart at 2 o'clock Zulu or uh, 6 o'clock local Dubai time. We will be cruising at a cruise speed of uh, Mach decimal 80. We have a ground distance of 2,764 nautical miles. We have a very good tailwind situation today. We're expecting around an average of 42 knots of tailwinds. So that will help us somewhat with the flight duration. As you can see here, it's a five hour, 35 minute flight. We've uh, elected to load an extra 782 pounds for a total uh, fuel load of 17,000 pounds. And the reason is we do expect a bit of holding uh, to be done in Bangkok, Suwarnapum Airport. So that's the usual situation. As you can see here, we're expecting to depart at the moment from 12 left, runway 12 left in, in Dubai. That could change. To 30R, depending on the wind conditions, which we do expect to change quickly uh, in a bit. We have the uh, Ivoro 1G uh, SID out of Dubai, and I'll show you here our routing. You know, it's going to take us uh, just uh, off the sea uh, coast of Oman onto the Arabian Sea, off the coast of Pakistan. Then we'll be uh, flying over uh, the Mumbai region, all the way to central India. And then we'll be flying over the Bay of Bengal. Later on, we'll be uh, entering uh, Burmese or Myanmar airspace at Dawi VOR. And eventually land in Bangkok, Suwarnapum, 20 or 25 minutes later. We don't have many, much operational impacts to consider here. They're, they're minor for today. Uh, we are expecting a takeoff weight of 45.5 thousand pounds. So that's uh, a bit 3,000 pounds underneath the maximum takeoff weight. A landing weight of 32.8 is predicted. As for our flight log here, you can see that we're going to be periodically changing or uh, logging our uh, estimated fuel burn and our actual fuel burn. So we'll compare our uh, actuals against the planned uh, estimated fuel burn at every uh, waypoint. And uh, I'm just gonna scroll down here really fast and show you. So there's nothing to consider in the NOTAMs. We're looking good, nothing affecting our flight. We do have 
two flight step climbs planned. So we'll be making our top of climb uh, prop just after Natso here. Raski is the uh, is the uh, flight information region uh, change from Oman to India. So Raski is a transition waypoint or the handover uh, waypoint. We'll be climbing from here from 35,000 feet to 37,000 feet to Ancox. Over central India at Mepip, we'll be climbing another 2,000 feet to our ultimate uh, cruise level of 39,000 feet. And we'll be descending just after Dawi here uh, in Myanmar. So that's it for now. These are the major considerations. As I said, we have a major tailwind, uh, favorable tailwinds for this morning, helping us out. And that's it. So I'll see you in a bit on the aircraft. Let's check our ground handling here. Welcome to Hot Start Flight Support. How can we help you today? Good morning. Let me fill out this sheet for you here. Estimated time of departure is two o'clock Zulu in the morning. Two crew members, or let's say two plus one is including the cabin crew and seven VIP passengers will be requiring jet A fuel and a AC ground power unit. And that's all. There you go. Of course, Captain. I'll get that organized for you right away. Thank you very much. Have a good day. While Alex here is uh, about to uh, prep the uh, cockpit, he's going to take care of some paperwork. I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, walk around. All right, so we're going to come here, start taking out the uh, all the pins, and inspect the aircraft just to make sure that everything is in order here before we take off. Right. So, first thing we're going to do is just check this uh, passenger door here. We want to basically make sure that the, that, uh, the rubber gasket all around this door is uh, in a good condition. There's nothing popping out. The danger is that uh, you know this could cause us some unfun problems. Nothing related to pressurization, but uh, some unpleasant sounds and noises and so on. So this looks really good. Everything looks in order here. So we're just going to walk around the other side. Good. This, by the way, is the little compartment where the aircraft pins are going to be inserted in when we finish. So now we're just going to go ahead and start taking the pins out. There's three on this side. I'm going to walk here. Just make sure this oxygen, oxygen uh, insert here is located and it's not popping out. I believe this is the uh, AOA gauge. It looks good. Nothing out of the ordinary here. We're going to look inside here at the pitot tube, the primary and the secondary. So this looks good. This one looks good as well. The window panels are okay. They're safe, safely secured. There are all the fasteners are all flush with the aircraft, with the outside. There's nothing looking unusual. Compartment door. Let's check that this is firmly uh, closed. All right. It looks good. Now let's just get in here under the uh, nose door and inspect this area we want to make sure there's uh, no birds hanging out here or 
nothing, uh, no debris. The front wheel looks okay, there's no debris on it. It looks excellent. Everything's okay. There's no pins here. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at the uh, taxi lights. The bulbs is okay. This bulb is also okay. It looks good. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take out these pins as well. I believe there's three here. In case you're wondering, this is the ice detector. It looks okay. And these are the uh, other pedal tubes on the other side. Let's try to have a peek inside here. Yeah, it looks good. The other one looks okay as well. All of these uh, doors are closed. The latches are secured here as well. We're going to be closing this after we disconnect the GPU. Very good. Very good. So we're really pleased. The window looks okay here as well. This is the uh, <coughs> total air temperature uh, sensor up here. It looks so good. There's nothing blocking it or anything. Excellent. We can uh, check the landing light here. Looks excellent. This is the uh, fueling panel here. It's closed. The fueling crew are going to open it shortly to fuel the aircraft. This is closed. Right, so the leading edge on the wing is all okay. Fasteners are okay. Excellent. This is okay. All these wing elements are safe. Nothing is damaged or anything like that, so that's excellent. All right, so I'm just gonna continue and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's put these pins in place. We'll just pretend to be opening this. It's not bottled at the moment. All right, let's get back in there and start preparing the aircraft for departure. Okay guys, welcome to our VCJet uh, flight deck here from the Bombardier 650 by Hot Start. Uh, our first officer here, Alex, has completed the flight compartment safety checklist. So we're going to start now the flight compartment checklist. And we'll start by switching on the master battery. Once we do that, we bring this panel up and we check the AC electricals so 115 volt 400 hertz that's looking good the external power is connected Farex monitor so we will check this test here we'll go to test Let's see okay and the warn and fail test as well Jet pipe overheat. That sounds good to me, so we'll go to fail. Alright, indicators are there on the cast. APU, we'll start the APU now. We'll just hit the power fuel button here. And we'll click start.
Okay, so the uh, RPM here is rising steadily. That looks good. Once the RPM reaches 100, we'll just uh, turn on the APU generator. Let's bring this up here. We'll put it here. Almost 100. We'll switch the gen on. Once we do that, we'll get a green light indicator here. The gen is on. And we'll continue with the checklist. Alex, please. Flight compartment checklist. AC and DC electrics. So we checked all of them. Check those again. Looks good. Normal. AC as well. The gen is on here and green. Checked. Nav lights, logo light. This is located here on the upper panel, so nav on, logo light on. On. Good. Cockpit lights. The cockpit lights are located here at the center panel, so uh, everything has been already uh, selected as per our preferences. Set. Set. Lamp test. The lamp test is here. It basically makes sure that the, all the, uh, the bulbs are working fine in the cockpit, so we'll go to... Test it. Duct monitor. Okay, so uh, on the upper panel here, we uh, sw switch this uh, knob to uh, test mode for a duct monitor. Blind air duct. Warning messages, that's normal. Blind air duct. The cast stay. Then we'll uh, switch to a loop A. We'll get a cast uh, message. Loop, loop A test OK. And the same for loop B test. OK. Testing. FMS database status. OK. For the FMS database status, we have to make sure that it's up to date. I believe ours has not been updated, but uh, the time disparity is not so significant, so we'll just pretend that it's been updated. Let's cycle. Uh, Let's cycle the databases just to make sure that uh, we fall back onto the most up-to-date uh, version, dated uh, October 2023. Cycled, checked. FMS flight plan right, uplink, so the, uh, ADIS. Flight plan uplink, let's go to uh, root menu. Then on to uh, the flight plan recall, we'll uh, enter uh, Dubai, ONDB as the origin, destination Bangkok VTBS, and we'll just go ahead and click send here. That could take a few minutes to retrieve, so until then we'll continue. Initiated. Anti skid. Okay. We'll just make sure the anti skid switch is set to armed. We'll hold the test button in and check the advisor on the cast. Anti skid and armed test tested. Indicated. Okay. Nose door. Looks good. Nose door. We'll talk to our ramp guy here. We'll just make sure that no one is uh, walking around. There's no obstructions or anything underneath there. Clear. Hydraulic 3A pump. For the hydraulic, on. we'll switch 3A Great to pressure. on. That's going to allow us to uh, close the nose door later on. 3000 indicated for the brake, uh, brake pressure. Check. We'll click the hydraulic Parking page. Brake. 3000 indicated for the inboard pressure. Inboard brakes. Okay. Okay, we'll just uh, set the set. parking brake. Nose door. For the nose door. 
you'll have to walk outside and uh, close it manually. If you look here on the other side, there's a switch. Closed. Hydraulic panel and pumps. Okay, so uh, for the pumps, remaining three pumps, 1B, 3B, and 2B, they go to auto. Check. Auto, 3A on. Electric panel. Check. AC, DC, panels, utility okay. switch. On. Start ignition panel. On. Check. Fuel panel. So we'll use the uh, double smiley approach here, or flow. Checked. APU LCD. Okay. And off shown for left and right. That's good. Open. Tenth stage isolation to open. To on. Packs. Open. The other one also to open. On. Yeah, Air conditioning on. panel. Packs are on. We make sure to set the cabin the cockpit temperature to uh, whatever we prefer. If we want to have a look at the uh, the ambient temperature inside the cabin, we can uh, pull that up from the study uh, menu here. Cabin environment. See it's uh, around 23 degrees, which is uh, a little warmer Check. than what I would like it to be. Pressurization pan. We'll keep monitoring that. Uh, maybe we'll lower it by one one degree. Pressurization panel. We'll check the man rate here is set to uh, to a minimum. The uh, arrival airport elevation is set. I believe it's around 30 feet. If I'm not mistaken, for Bangkok, and that looks Check. okay to us. Set. Lead air panel. Right. Checked. Supplemental ground wing anti ice panel switch. Out. Cal anti ice switches. On or off. Anti ice panel. Checked, tested. Emergency lights. Checked, armed. Passenger signs. Okay, so we're going to make sure that. Uh, the uh, passenger sign, uh, seatbelt sign here is uh, is off until we complete the refueling uh, process. On or auto? The, uh, no smoking sign. ELT. To auto at this stage. Armed. Glare shield panel. The armed ELT. Emergency lights. For the glare shield panel. Checked. We just want to make sure that the uh, autopilot uh, cover here, uh, disconnect uh, cover, Check. is, uh, Crew is and passenger uh, free oxygen. of any uh, defects. It's opening and closing normally. We don't want it to be stuck. We'll check the oxygen on the left and right. That's okay. Check on. Oxygen DC pressure is okay. Panel. Normal. So the uh, DCU one and two inhibit switches are uh, out. CDR. We do want to hear the any warnings, if if any. CDR. We'll press that for five seconds. 
Test it. Light comes Audio on. panels. CVR is working. Audio panels here, but they're not required today. We're not flying online. Set. SPS system. We'll just uh, pretend that this on. is not the first Generated flight of the day. Generated standby instrument. Check. Set. Clock. Gauge reset. 133 AM Zulu, it's okay. ECAS looks nominal to me. For the uh, EFIS, we'll check the uh, barrel setting here, 2991. We'll get back to that. We'll set the uh, airspeed for the uh, auto throttle, 200 knots for departure. And we'll set the initial. Uh, Sit cleared altitude at 4,000 feet. Okay, so uh, let's uh, set the altimeter setting here on both PFDs to so 2991 inches, both sides, and also on the uh, middle integrated standby instrument to 991 inches. Okay. Finally, on the uh, fourth altimeter, uh, which is the uh, pressurization panel. Checked. Tall's warning switches. Okay. For the terrain avoidance and warning system, we'll uh, take the switch to test. Light slow. We'll start hearing all kinds oh, of uh, ah. oral. Uh, Wind shear. Warning. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Out. Too low. Testing. Flaps. Pitch and roll disconnect. Terrain. Flight slope. Bank angle. So Bank the pitch angle. and roll disconnect. Approaching sure that they're in and stowed. Minimums. They're both synchronized, so that's okay. One thousand five hundred. In stow. One hundred. Ground spoilers. Fifty. Auto. Forty. Thrust reversers. Thirty. So auto. Twenty. Ten. So the thrust checked reversers arm. are going to be shear. checked in arm. Thrust shear. levers. Wind shear. Caution. Wind shear. Too low. Terrain. Caution. Checked. Terrain. Caution. Check terrain. the motion. Terrain, terrain. Pull Both of up. them. Caution. Check Obstacle. normal Shut motion. Off. Motion normal Obstacle. range. Engine speed Obstacle. switches. Obstacle. Shut off. Obstacle. Pull up. On. Engine vibration check. Test it. Oral warning. Smoke detector. Smoke. 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 Test it. Trims, mock trim. Tested, set, yacht ampers. In.
engaged. Reversionary inhibit switches. Norm out. IRS aligned. CPDLC logged on. TCAS. TCAS system, test OK. Tested. ATIS and clearance. What we can do here is to uh, set the COM frequency to Dubai uh, ATIS. Uh, departure ATIS frequency 131.77. But it hasn't been working uh, this morning. For some reason, in the sim, it, there's a malfunction. The other possibility is we can just go ahead and try the uh, data link weather service. We'll press terminal weather here. And we'll type OMDB. But I'm suspecting, again, it's not going to be working because this is only available uh, in the United States. So we're uh, currently in the UAE, so this service is not going to be working. Copied. FMS flight plan, wind update, perf. Okay, so let's set up the uh, flight management system flight plan. So we'll retrieve the uh, flight, our flight plan downloaded into the secondary uh, flight plan. So we'll just activate the secondary one into the uh, main. Perfect. We'll check later the route continuity. The audio here is uh, the data link message received. Let's try to retrieve the uh, weather uh, ATIS, although of course we don't expect it to have arrived. Yep, so it's an empty... Uh, Matar. That's okay, we, we have the, the web ATIS received. Alright. We'll go back to flight plan. The leg page here. Let's check the route continuity. Leaving Dubai seems okay. <coughs> so Ivor 1G is the SID for today. We'll select 12 left. As for Bangkok, we will just confirm the star that we're going to be using arriving into Bangkok. The preliminary or tentative, let's call it star, because that could change when we arrive, so we'll just select the Willa 3D ILS 01R. Okay. So let's delete this continuity. There you go, perfect. one as well.
check the uh, star continuity. We're using the uh, Willa 3D star with a pasto uh, transition. So you can see here on the uh, MFD, the star seems to be conti continuous. So. All right, so there's no discontinuities or anything. We'll just uh, define the uh, the arrival in runway. And I think that's already been done. Okay, let's go to the uh, perf page. Let's set the outside temperature from the ATIS we've just received online. It's 27 degrees Celsius. Right. Takeoff thrust setting has been uh, defined. We'll go to the perf init page. So before we we uh, we uh, press the sensed fuel, we just realized that the fuel truck hasn't arrived yet. So uh, let's call uh, call the FBO and see what's what's up with the fuel truck. Hot start flight support, Jenny speaking. Hi, Jenny. How can we help? I need a refueling uh, truck, please. Of course. I'll have that over with you in a minute or two. Thank you. Anything no, else? That would be all. Thank you. Hello, Captain. It's Jenny from Hot Start Flight Support. Your passengers have arrived. Shall I have them brought to the plane? Sure. Understood. They'll be there in a couple Thanks, of minutes. Thanks, Jenny. Anything else? No, that would be all. Always a pleasure. Take care. Once we're refueled, we'll have to uh, press this for the uh, sensed fuel uh, definition. So we will, it will uh, automatically sense the fuel load, which we expect to be 17,000 pounds. Let's prepare the cabin lights here for our incoming passengers. Raise the lights here a bit in the galley. And for the cabin as well. It's still too early in the morning. We don't want it to be uh, super uh, bright. We'll just go for a, a lower light intensity here. Hello, Captain. How are you today? Very well, thank you. That's great to hear. Well, we're all set back there, so we can get going anytime. Perfect. Enjoy your flight. Let us know if you need anything. So let's go ahead and uh, load up the uh, Dubai SID on the uh, EFB here. Departure, Ivoro, one G, Ivoro one G. That could change in fifteen minutes. We do expect the weather or the wind conditions to change. We might be uh, prompted to uh, take off from uh, runway thirty R. 
but for now we have uh, as you can see here we have some altitude restrictions which we will uh, define in the FMS VNAV profile you also have a speed restriction of 220 knots until uh, gear go and the initial climb clearance is 4000 so we set that all right and of course we'll observe that 250 uh, knot restriction below 10,000 feet which is still below the uh, transition altitude of 13,000 feet okay Okay, welcome back here. Uh, you can see there's a beautiful dawn here uh, unfolding in Dubai. This is going to be a beautiful morning. Uh, unfortunately, there's no sign of the uh, the refueling truck. So what we're going to do is just we're just going to go ahead and uh, refuel manually here. We're going to toggle the uh, fuel panel. I believe this is going to be here. All right, so as we said earlier, we have, we need around 14,720 pounds additional, uh, I'm sorry, liters. So we need 14,720 liters to complete our uh, fuel uh, plan for the trip. So what we'll do is we'll preset we can do this faster but let's see so we need four fourteen thousand seven hundred and twenty liters before we start we need to make sure that our fueling panel behind Alex is on and all the right valves are open There you go. We'll turn this on. Okay. So let's start. Hopefully this won't take a long time. <coughs> we'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, we're back guys, uh, we're all fueled up, we have uh, around 17,770 pounds of fuel for our trip, which is more than enough, I think we needed around 17,000 for the whole trip, including the alternate, which is Phnom Penh in uh, uh, neighboring Cambodia, uh, we do have 17,700, so uh, well, this is all programmed into the uh, performance pages that take off. We have all of our takeoff data here set. We sent the airspeeds here to the uh, primary flight display. Our trim is set is at 5.2 and uh, so on. So we're just gonna click legs here. We're gonna make sure our trim is brought up to 5.2. So that's good. So we're just gonna resume the checklist at this point. Set, avionics and charts. All, all checked and available. We're all set. Set. Flight instruments. So let's check the uh, flight instruments. Or uh, let's set the heading bug to the uh, the runway takeoff heading 299. We're going to be taking off at runway 30R. The winds uh, just changed. So we'll set at 299. Okay. Our current heading is 29, that's okay. The NAV source is set as FMS1. The temperatures are posted, that's okay. Takeoff speeds are posted. Our VR rotation speed is 140. We're a bit heavy today. Uh, we're the uh, airspeed uh, 
uh, autopilot is set as 200 knots. So we have 4,000 feet initial clearance. I expect that to be increased as uh, we uh, approach the uh, takeoff roll. Our first uh, uh, vertical destruction uh, for the VNAV departure profile is 5,000 feet or below at STs. So we checked all of our VNAV profile. We're going to be increasing the altitude here, the cruise level. Uh, we have a couple of steps today, so uh, we're going to be reaching Rakski at three th uh, 35,000 feet and we'll be changing that to Ancox. We're going to be at 37,000 feet, so we'll be changing that after departure. For some reason, the, uh, the CDU is not accepting the uh, 370 flight level. Okay, our altimeter is... Uh, Entered 2993. All of them have been synchronized and checked. Our ECAS parameters here are normal and well, so that's good. Checked and set. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Completed. Emergency procedures? Reviewed. Reviewed. Pins, covers, chocks. Let's remove our, our chocks since uh, the parking uh, brake is set to on, so it chalks out. We'll talk to the uh, ground staff here. Pins have been removed, covers have been removed, so we're good to go. Removed. Cabin lights, water heaters, master seat. Those are set. Set. Flight compartment checklist complete. Engine start checklist next. Okay, Alex, uh, let's go over the engine start checklist, please. Engine start checklist. Doors. The door is closed. Closed. Parking brake and pressure. Checked and set. Fuel quantity and balance. Checked. Checked. Beacon. On. Fuel boost pumps. On. Ignition. Armed. Engine to start. First, let's check the right side here. Clear right. Let's talk to our ramp guy. Okay, to start two. Okay, let's get started. Keep on till the light comes on. And 20% and 2 RTT less than 120 and turning. Okay, it's looking good. Fuel flow increasing, RTT increasing, oil pressure increasing. At 55%, we'll check the ignition switch light comes off. Fuel here. system done. Skip that. Checked. Engine one start. Okay. Clear left. is rising. Engine 1 here is 246. We'll check this two digits. So everything is within parameters. 246. And 1 is getting there as well. Engine start checklist complete. After start checklist, next. Okay.
Sector start checklist. Generator 1 and 2. On. On. Checked AC and DC. Ignition. Joint 1 and 2 is okay. Disarm. Disarm. Packs. On. On. 14th stage. Let's press these in. Open. Cal anti on. Check 45 seconds. Flight controls. Flight controls. Let's press the uh, flight controls here. Okay. Aileron are okay. Elevator action. Good. Rudder. Okay. Free and correct. Check. Ground spoilers. Ground spoilers are here. We'll just take this to this arm. Nothing happens. We'll take it to arm. Extend it. We'll go back to auto. Checked. Stowed. Auto. Flight spoilers. Flight spoilers. Full extension. We'll go to half. And then retract. Checked. Stowed. Green advisory message on. Test on. Fuel balance. Fuel balance. We're balanced. Checked. Trims. 5.2. Check. Reset for takeoff. No steer. No steer is armed, armed now. APR. APR tests. Test one. Okay. Test two. Okay. Checked. Armed. ADG unit. Tested. Test OK. Off. Norm. Checked. Checked. Off. ATS. We'll press the ATS. N1TO. N1TO. TARA. After start checklist complete. Taxi checklist next. Okay, Alex, so uh, we've just been cleared to taxi. Just to show you here, we are at the uh, Northern Apron, at the Executive uh, Apron, specifically, Executive Jet, Vista Jet area. So we're going to be taking, uh, turning left here to uh, Papa 5, all right, onto uh, taxiway November, and then turning right onto November 10 to hold short for runway 30R. So let's start the uh, taxi checklist. Taxi checklist. Taxi lights. On. Wing and cowl anti-ice. Norm on or off. Brakes and steering. Okay. So we will disengage the parking brake. We will give it a bit of power to get moving. Tiller all the way to the left. Slow and nice. All right, guys, we're finally underway. Brakes are working fine. Steering is working fine. Checked. Reverse thrust. We're not going to apply them now because we're too close to the uh, to the uh, terminal building here. So we will just wait out until we turn right, approaching uh, Papa Five. Alex, please record the uh, block time 
out 2.08 p.m. Zulu time. Thank you. Let's check the reversers now. Working good. Checked. If taxing the DI's, boss checklist here until a paper DI's checklist is complete. Not required. Flaps. 20. Altimeters. Flaps 20. Set and cross check. 29. On. Take off briefing. Departing runway 30R today, we will verify we're at runway 30R prior to crossing the uh, hold short via the compass, heading indicator, and the airport signage. We need 6,756 feet for a takeoff roll today, and runway 30R is around 14,200 feet, so we're we're fine. If we have takeoff roll emergency, we will bring power to idle and stop on the runway. If the engines fail above VR, but below 1,000 feet above ground level, we will land on an available runway. We will troubleshoot and declare only if time permits. Sharjah Airport is just east of Dubai International. We can land there if needed. In case the engine fails above 1,000 feet, we will return to Dubai Airport. In the event of an emergency, I'll be the pilot in command. But if but you will assist me with the checklist and communicating with the ATC. Today we don't have any significant crosswind for the takeoff and no major weather considerations. Are there any questions? Perfect, thank you. Reviewed. Taxi checklist complete. Before takeoff checklist next. Okay, so we're approaching now uh, November 8th, so we're still going to go ahead and uh, continue rolling till November 10th. Bye bye. Good day, FedEx 762 is currently Echo 1 for the press push and stop. FedEx uh, the Emirates uh, Engineering Hangars, located here in Dubai Push and start approved, face east on to Papa, FedEx 762. Let's apply a bit of reverse thrust. Our passengers comfortable here, we don't want to over break. Uh, three, two, three, push to Zulu. 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 Push So I set the uh, altitude here, uh, altitude uh, for the autopilot at 15,000 feet. That's the end of the uh, sit. The VNAV profile will take care of us. Takeoff checklist. Passenger signs. Advised on. Anti-collision light. 
On. Pros. On. Windshield heat. On. Wing and cowl anti-ice. Norm on or off. Continuous ignition. On. ATC TCAS. TARA. Supplemental ground wing anti-ice panel. Check. CAS. Take off config OK. Take off config OK. Check. Landing pulse recoglates. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. After takeoff checklist next. to a line-up runway 30R. Let's look for traffic. Clear left. Clear right. Very good. Okay, we've been cleared for takeoff. Let's go. Takeoff. Takeoff checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Zero. Thrust reversers. Off. Ignition. Off. Pressurization. Checked. Pax transition. Completed. N1. Climb set. APU generator. Off. APU. Shut down. Passenger signs. We'll keep the passenger uh, seatbelt signs on till we uh, we're well underway uh, with our climb. On, off, or auto. Cast. 
clear. After takeoff, checklist complete. So we're uh, observing the speed uh, restrictions on our uh, set. So we're turning uh, to our next waypoint, Delta Bravo 569. We should be at 4 or 4,000 feet or higher. So we're, we're okay now, we're at 6,600. So the uh, VNAV is working well. So our transition uh, level is 13,000 feet. So at that level, we will be switching off our landing lights and uh, switching to a standard barrel. So at this point we're still flying uh, at or below 250 knots airspeed as we're uh, just a bit higher than 8,000 feet. So uh, once we pass the flight level 100 we will be accelerating to 290. So we've reached 10,000 feet. switch off the landing lights we can also turn off the uh, seatbelt signs here we'll be accelerating now to 290 knots You can see a charger in the background here that's just uh, east of Dubai, very very close, I think around uh, 15 or 20 miles if I'm not mistaken from, uh, from the Dubai runway. Let's make the post takeoff announcement. As you can see here, we're approaching Vaxap waypoint. We should be uh, about 10,000 feet.
we can get an estimate here uh, at when we'll uh, be over at uh, Evuro, the uh, exit point of our uh, SID. You can see here it's at 2.31 Zulu. So that's in six minutes. As the sun rises here over the horizon, uh, you know, the light conditions will change within inside the cockpit. So we'll have to adjust the uh, the light brightness uh, on the PFDs and the MFDs and the other digital displays here so we can uh, see everything clearly. We're approaching the end of the uh, sit. So we'll be preparing for an ATC handover here. We'll be uh, crossing into the Muscat uh, flight information region at Kusen. You can see that it's two, uh, 2.33 or in 17 uh, miles or at 2.33 uh, Zulu. You can see the Arabian Sea here just ahead of us. Okay guys, so we've reached our flight level uh, 350, cruise level of 350, that's our initial uh, flight level. We're just off the uh, Omani airspace, Muscat flight information region. By the time we exit this uh, region, we'll be uh, climbing to uh, Ancox. We'll be reaching there at flight level 370. Reaching Chennai, flight information region. Central India will be climbing a further 2,000 feet to flight level 390. That'll be our final and ultimate uh, flight cruise level. So everything is looking great. We will be uh, making uh, fuel burn checks periodically. We'll be uh, uh, checking with you here and just sharing our data as we gather it, just to make sure that the flight is uh, progressing smoothly and nicely. We will be uh, serving our first meal of the day in a bit. So Lina will be uh, offering a uh, light breakfast. And later on during the flight, right above India, after reaching the uh, Bay of Bengal, we'll be uh, serving a full lunch service today. So sit back and enjoy the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, if we may please have your attention. During today's flight, we will be flying over water. Therefore, please be aware of the life vests. Or in the leg rest, if your seat is equipped with one. To use, remove the life vest from its protective cover. Place it over your head with the inflation chamber over your chest. The waist straps will now be in the middle of your back. Grasp these straps and snap the buckles into the rings located on each side of the front of the vest. To tighten, simply pull down on the straps. Do not inflate the vest inside the aircraft. Once you have exited the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down sharply on the cords hanging below each inflation chamber. Note that at the top of each inflation chamber there is a rubber tube to further inflate the vest if necessary. Okay guys, we're at flight level 350 still. We're about to exit the uh, Muscat flight information region at Raski. So we expect to be handed over to uh, Mumbai's Oceanic Control anytime now. Vesta Jet 582 entering Oceanic airspace. Radar service terminated. 
report position to Mumbai radio on 132.6. 132.6. Thank you, Muscat. Good day. Vista Jet 582. So at this point, our uh, communication radio is set to 132.6. We will be communicating with Mumbai now. Mumbai, Mumbai, Vista Jet 582 with position report. Vista Jet 582, Mumbai, pass your message. Reporting Raski at, at uh, 0312 Zulu, flight level 350, mic decimal 80, estimating Ancox at 0329 Zulu, cargo thereafter. Vista Jet 5A2, Mumbai Radio, position Raski at 0312 Zulu, flight level 350, Mac decimal 80, estimating Ancox 0329 Zulu, Kaku thereafter. Correct, Vista Jet 5A2. Okay, so uh, we're officially in Indian airspace now. I believe that uh, we will be reaching the uh, Mumbai region here, the Indian coast just north of Mumbai, shortly after uh, Exolu, and that's at 4.07 Zulu time, so that's in around 50 minutes or so. Very good. Just thought to uh, to let you know, guys, we have around uh, 78 uh, knots of tailwinds at this flight level uh, 370 now. As we said, uh, this is our first uh, step climb into Indian airspace. So that's going to help us uh, land a little bit faster in Bangkok. So as of now, we're estimating uh, Bangkok here at 8.05 Zulu. That's, uh, that's around 3.05 in the afternoon. Our fuel is doing good. We're checking our uh, fuel burn periodically here. We do have around 12,600 pounds remaining. So that's good. Okay, guys. We're just about to uh, enter the... Uh, or fly over the Indian coast. We're just about... 30 miles north of Mumbai as you can see here we have around uh, the next waypoint is Kamal at 418 Zulu the last point or, or uh, waypoint traversing India here is uh, the city of uh, Viskapatnam which is uh, Victor, Victor Zulu here. Just about calculating or uh, checking. When would this be due? So to do that, we need to click MFD data go next so it's at 527 Zulu we estimate that to be at 527 Zulu so that's around in an hour and a half and that makes sense our fuel burn we can always check it now so we are nearing the uh, waypoint of Opaka the waypoint of Opaka which is more inland or I'm sorry, it's uh, Camel at 55 miles. So Camel is in 54 miles and the fuel, fuel burn we expect there. We can 
go back here and click previous page, you can see it's 11,070 pounds. And at the moment, we have around 10,900. So that's a bit more than uh, we anticipated at Kabul. And I think one of the reasons could be the, uh, the wind conditions which have changed en route. So we're at flight level 370, our second stepped altitude. We are planning a further climb. Uh, down at uh, the waypoint of Mepip. Mepip. That's at 507 Zulu. So at 507 Zulu, which is in around 50 minutes, we shall be climbing another 2,000 feet to uh, the ultimate flight level here of our cruise level of 390. Alright, so we'll check with you in a bit. Welcome back guys, alright, we are uh, just about uh, to, to uh, fly over Mepip, Mepip is around 20 minutes from the, uh, from the coast of the Bay of Bengal here, so this is our, uh, the uh, fix where we have to basically climb to our uh, final cruise level of uh, 390, flight level 390, so we will just go ahead now and set the altitude bug here to flight level 390 we'll go with flight level change okay so uh, if we look here at our flight plan progress we can see our fuel burn at MEPIP is around 9310 and at the moment we're running at 9340, which would, so that's very, very close. So we're doing very good. We already have uh, enough fuel on board to make it to uh, Bangkok, Suvarnapum, and of course, uh, continue on to, uh, to our alternate at Phnom Penh in Cambodia. <coughs> that will uh, be a perfectly uh, going according to plan. So we will check in back with you, uh, perhaps just about when we reach the uh, fix of Lebis in the Chennai flight information region, which we're already traversing by the way. So we already switched to the uh, from Mumbai to Chennai earlier on. So Lebis is around the middle of the Bay of Bengal. And we're estimating that to be in around oops. let's see here our next page at 619 Zulu so that's in uh, one hour and ten minutes so we'll check in with you again at Lebis by that time, we, we would have been serving our uh, our lunch service today, so we'll be checking in with the cabin and our uh, passengers and see that they're attended to. All right.
can I uh, fly 247? Good evening. Uh, good morning, sir. Very good morning. I fly 247. I ready fly. Continue climb flight level 340. Continue climb uh, 340. Requesting 380. Final uh, flight 247. I fly 247. Correction to my last transmission. Stop climb flight level 300. Stop climb 300. I fly 247. Traffic forwarding will appreciate direct to Parker. Stand by. Vanakam, fly at 912, maintaining level 320. Vanakam, fly at 912, radar contact, report for correction, event ready, descent to flight level 260, radar 8, runway 09 Okay, welcome back. We're around uh, 30 minutes from uh, Lebis in the uh, Bay of Bengal here. You can look at our map. We're expecting Lebis at 6.15 Zulu, so that's in around uh, 25 minutes. At the moment, we're uh, starting to uh, serve our, our VIP passengers with the lunch service. So I'm going to go and have a chat with Lena here. By this time, she would be preparing all of our uh, exquisite meal offerings. And for today's flight, we have a very interesting menu provided by the Taj Hotel in Dubai. So that is our catering partner in Dubai. We have a very uh, delicious set of uh, food items here, multi-course. So we have a starter and main and a dessert. So that's pretty luxurious. Our passengers are gonna be feeling very, very special today. Let's have a look here. So we don't wanna disturb our passengers too much before their lunch, but I'm gonna walk up here. our map so you can see here we just uh, left we flew over the city of Visakhapatnam and uh, we have around 1092 miles to reach our destination at Bangkok so we'll be reaching just after three o'clock in the afternoon we are flying now at flight level 390 as well Okay guys, we're uh, over flying uh, Lebis here in the uh, Bay of Bengal, we're, uh, we're about to give a uh, position report to uh, Kolkata Oceanic Control. So let's go ahead, Alex. Kolkata, Kolkata, Vistajet 582 with position report. Vistajet 582, Kolkata Radio, go ahead with your position report. Uh, reporting Lebis at... Uh, 0622 Zulu Flight level 390 Mach decimal 80 Estimating uh, Mabur at uh, 623 Zulu Rinda after Vistarjit 582 Polkata Radio Position Lebis at 0616 Zulu Flight level 390 Mach decimal 80 Estimating Mabur 0623 Zulu Rinda thereafter. Coast of Myanmar or uh, 
yeah, the coast of Myanmar here. We're shortly uh, expected to start descending to flight level 220. So we're not going to be following uh, the VNAV uh, mode today. We're going to be descending uh, manually. So we're going to be observing our altitude restrictions and speed restrictions for the uh, for the uh, star. All right. So we have about 14 miles to go to start descending at Dawi, VOR. Dawi is located in Myanmar, while Tanik is the uh, transition between Myanmar airspace and uh, Bangkok control. So we're going to go ahead now and uh, at least start bugging our altitude to flight level 220. to go. Let's have a look at the external view here. to go. Okay. Let's target 2,000 feet per minute here. And let's go ahead and read the checklist, Alex, please. Select 290 knots. For some reason, the maximum is 277. Keep those at uh, on auto. Auto, auto. Pressurization. Pressurization. So man rate is at a minimum here. Pressure control is automatic. This is all right. Landing elevation at zero, almost zero. So that's okay. Check. We're okay, we're perfectly balanced here, almost. We have 4,400 pounds remaining. Check. FMS, mining data, charts. This is all prepared. We checked our uh, arrival star procedure. We pulled up the, uh, the airport chart here for the taxiing route. So that's gonna be a bit uh, tedious to just, just check the, uh, to have it ready at least so that we know where we're going. That's 13,000 feet. We checked it earlier in the FMS. Set. Set checklist complete. Range checklist next. 
Okay. Very nice. Level 160. We 
need to be at flat seven, flat seven one six zero or above at Bravo Sierra four zero eight. So we'll hold sixteen thousand. Sierra 408, we'll go ahead and descend to flight level 110 in preparation for arriving at fixed DS404. Check back with you at uh, when we reach BS404. Today is a very uh, beautiful morning here in uh, Bangkok. As you can see, uh, we're having uh, we're looking at all these rice fields all around Bangkok. Very impressive landscape. Okay, guys, uh, we're reaching our uh, transition altitude of 13,000 feet. We'll just go ahead now and uh, turn on the landing lights. Make sure the seatbelt signs is switched on. And we'll go ahead and go to standard for the barrel. Or uh, I'm sorry, 2986 for the field altimeter setting. 2986 selected. We'll check the other side. 2986 selected. As well, two nine eight six eleven. Very good. Descent one zero thousand, Bangkok Air one four six. Bangkok Air one four six, descent one one thousand three, Thailand one zero zero three. Descent one thousand one zero zero three, Bangkok one four six. Reaching uh, Bravo Sierra 402, we will be uh, descending to 4,000 feet to arrive at Vocal. Bravo, 
So as you can see guys, we're about to be turning left here to uh, for after reaching Wokal to Reese and then on to the final approach fix at Dry Park. The this approach procedure is we shall climb to 1000 feet on track 15, then climbing right, turning on to Renex, holding at 3000. Our decision altitude is uh, 205 feet, so that's already been fed here into the system. Turning on to uh, just have the localizer. Let's descend now to 2500. Let's change the nav source. Localizer, almost intercepted. Excellent. You can see we have uh, virtual traffic, AI traffic ahead of us. Let's reduce the speed to 180. We have around 15 nautical miles for the threshold. Light slow. Before landing checklist. Landing gear left. Gear down. Thrust reversers. 
table. Let's bring down the hood. After landing checklist. After landing checklist. Landing pulse recog lights. Off. Anti collision lights. Off. Off. Continuous ignition. Off. Windshield heat. Off. Probes. Off. Wing anti ice. Off. Cow anti ice. On or off. Spoilers. Stowed. Stowed. Flaps. Zero. Zero. ATC TCAS. Alt on. Radar mode. Standby. After landing checklist complete. Engine shutdown checklist next. Thank you, Alex. So uh, we've been instructed to uh, taxi to uh, parking stand 401 on the Western International Apron. The uh, taxiway Bravo, turning onto uh, Charlie Six, taxiway Golf, turning into uh, Tango Thirteen, turning left into parking stand Four O One.
Hotel 2 will take Hotel 1, the one after. Taxi lights coming into the gate. Shut down checklist. Taxi lights. Off. Parking brake. Set. Set. Reverse thrust. Stowed. Generators one and two. Off. Off. Engine two. Shut down. Off. Off. Fuel system. Check. Engine one shut down. Check ITT below 350 degrees Celsius. Falling, decreasing. Anti ice. Uh -huh. Beacon. Let's turn the beacon off. Off. No steer. ATC TCAS. Zero. Parking brake if chalked. Let's go to chalk. Request the uh, ground staff here. Chalks in. Passenger signs. Off. Cabin differential. Zero PSI. Engine shutdown checklist complete. Securing checklist next. Okay, guys. Welcome to Bangkok. Let's uh, greet our passengers here as they're about to exit. For some reason, the uh, 
the uh, bus hasn't arrived to collect them, let's uh, call again. Hot start flight support, Jenny speaking. How can we help? Come to you, take my passengers. Uh, of course, have seven I'll have that over with you here. in a minute or two. Anything uh, else? No, that's all, thank you. Always a pleasure. Take care. The airport taxi's here. Thank you, Captain. Great flight as always. Thank you very well, much. I'll see you next time. We look forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the nose door. Perfect. That completes it for the nose door area, for the pins. Okay, let's do the securing checklist. Secure and checklist. Emergency lights. AC DC utility switch. Off. Off. Three minutes. Headsets. Off. Thrust reversers. Off. Chocks. Chocks are in. Installed. Parking brake. Set. Off. Hydraulic pumps. They're off. Hydraulic pumps. Off. Nav lights, logo light. Off. APU generator. Continue manually at this point. APU start stop. Okay. So the packs are switched off. LCV load control valve. Well, 10th stage, off, closed, APU power, off, ECAS APU gauge not displayed, okay, battery master, off, refueling panel, off service lights are off pins 
let's install the pins. At this stage, my flight crew will be exiting the plane with me here after checking that the cabin is secured. Interesting traffic here. I believe that's a DC-3, if I'm not mistaken. Don't know what it's doing at this airport. Okay. Perfect. So that's all gents, ladies and gents, thank you very much for joining this flight today. Our second edition of the uh, Global Flyer is a flight from the cockpit, our flight from Dubai to Bangkok. We hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed my video. I do plan on making more of these in the near future. So uh, thank you. Have a good day and enjoy your stay in Thailand.